Meet Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda is an excellent educator and is always looking for tools and resources to leverage for student success in the classroom. Dr. Panda is looking forward to the upcoming year, especially because Dr. Panda's institution selected the learning management system, Canvas. Dr. Panda is especially excited to leverage SpeedGrader for assignment feedback. They can use SpeedGrader to provide detailed, meaningful feedback, including grading with rubrics, for assignments, discussions, and quizzes. To access SpeedGrader, Dr. Panda can navigate directly to an assignment needing feedback from their to-do list or by selecting the name of an assignment from a module or assignment index page. After selecting the name of the assignment, Dr. Panda selects SpeedGrader in the sidebar under Related Items. They can also access SpeedGrader by going to Grades in the course navigation menu, then choosing SpeedGrader from the assignment drop-down menu, or by clicking on the arrow in an assignment cell and choosing SpeedGrader from the grade detail tray. In SpeedGrader, Dr. Panda can easily navigate back to the gradebook. If they don't have time to grade all submissions, they can choose to manually post grades after they finish grading all student entries, rather than grades being posted immediately as they're entered in SpeedGrader. For truly unbiased grading, Dr. Panda clicks on the gear icon to set the option to hide student names. They also use this menu to sort student submissions based on student name, the date students submitted their assignments, or by submission status. By selecting the name of the assignment, Dr. Panda returns to the assignment's information page. Selecting the course name takes them back to the home page of the course. Dr. Panda cheers when they see how many submissions they've already graded and is able to keep track of student success by seeing both the current class average and which student submission out of the list they are viewing. The speed part of SpeedGrader is evident to Dr. Panda as they are able to easily toggle between student submissions with the arrows or find a specific student submission in the drop-down menu. In the Doc Viewer, Dr. Panda can see the original student submission and leave detailed feedback. For file upload assignments like Google Docs, PowerPoint presentations, PDFs, and image files, Dr. Panda can use the Annotation Toolbar to leave annotated comments on student submissions. They can zoom in and out as well as go full screen to make the most of the space on their screen. The Pointer tool allows Dr. Panda to pinpoint specific places in the submission that deserve consideration. Dr. Panda uses the Highlighter tool to emphasize various words, phrases, or sentences. Sometimes feedback deserves extra explanation, so Dr. Panda uses the text box to recommend additions or corrections. They suggest removing parts of the submission with the strikeout tool and place rectangles around paragraphs or other large sections with the area notation tool. Dr. Panda can use the draw annotation tool to draw on the student submission with their mouse, but their favorite part of SpeedGrader is when they can sit on their couch, watch their favorite program, and use a touchscreen device to write directly on a student's work using their finger or a stylus. While Dr. Panda always has access to the student's original submission in the sidebar, they can also download a copy with their annotations from within the doc viewer. To give a final grade for the assessment, Dr. Panda types it in the box in the sidebar. However, knowing that students can view assignment rubrics before assignments are submitted and after assignments are graded, Dr. Panda always attaches rubrics to their assignments. Choosing View Rubric allows them to select the criterion ratings that the student earned, then choose Save. Dr. Panda loves the fact that once they enter a grade or complete a rubric, the score drops automatically into the gradebook, saving them an extra step in the grading process. Below the grade and rubric, Dr. Panda adds some final general comments about the submission and attaches a study guide so that the student can do some remediation and submit again. Sometimes Dr. Panda needs to demonstrate a skill, speak in a foreign language, or leave other types of media feedback by using the media tool. The speech-to-text feature available in the Chrome web browser is especially useful on small devices with Dr. Panda's rather large paws. 
Once they have added feedback and awarded a score, Dr. Panda now moves on to the next student submission.